All right, thank you so much, Chumbe Sharam, there with a the comprehensive report. Now, moving on, the forward Kenya party leader Moses Wetangula now says that the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition will hold its final campaign rally on Saturday, August 6th, in the Nairobi Central Business District if they are denied access to the Nyayo Stadium. This follows a directive from the Ministry of Sports that denied access to Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimula Umoja One Kenya coalitions entry into Nyayo and Kasarani stadiums due to peace events scheduled for the same debts. Reader Kering Chebet prepared that report. Ford Kenya party leader Moses Utangula has announced that Kenya Kwanzaa will hold its final rally at the heart of Nairobi Central Business District CBD if denied access to Nyayo National Stadium. We have identified the junction of Moy Avenue and Kenyatta Avenue and Kenyans will fill up the streets of Nairobi. You are obligated to protect uh, business premises along those streets. That is where we'll have our rallies, like we did in Eldoret the other day, we did in Kakamega when you denied us entry into Buhungu. And Kenyans who want to listen to our final message as we ho head home to victory will turn up and fill the streets of Nairobi. The same way Obama addressed Berlinians in Berlin uh, on the eve of his elections and set the ball and the ball of freedom in East Jam. The Bungoma senators say that they have already identified a section on Kenyatta Avenue where the rally will take place. Uh, we have uh, seen a lot of bravado from your Minister for Security. Uh, he's applying security arrangements in the country selectively. Your ministers are uh, availing facilities of uh, the government and the public selectively. For instance, we applied and paid for an astronomical figure of 1.5 million for Nyaya Stadium for our final rally on Saturday. All of a sudden, we are told you are going to have peace prayers at Nyaya Stadium. You have opened up Kasarani for our competitors of Azimio. You have closed Kamkunji for us that it is booked for something else. You've closed Jagaranda that is booked for something else. Like we have said uh, a day or two ago, if you do not open Nyayo Stadium for the Kenya Kwanzaa final rally on Saturday, we will hold this rally on the streets of Nairobi. Watangula made the declarations directly addressing Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, claiming that it was an official notice of intent to hold a public gathering in the Nairobi town center. As Kenya Kwanzaa want a peaceful Kenya, we want a peaceful election, we want a peaceful outcome, we want IBC to be given security and protection to act within the law and to declare the winner after the process. Previously, Sports Kenya on Wednesday, July 20th, informed UDA Party Secretary General Veronica Miner that the venue would not be available. In the letter seen by Masha Television, Sports Kenya Director General Pius Meto said both Kasarani and Nyayo had been booked for a peace concert on the debt leading coalitions are expected to hold their final rally. The move by the government saw Ruto's team head to court seeking permission to use Nyayo Stadium. UDA insisted on having paid all the required fees to use the stadium to hold Ruto's last mega rally for the 2022 elections. This venue was booked on the 9th of July. We signed a contract with uh, uh, the authority responsible for the stadium on the 12th of uh, July and also uh, received the receipt for the payment on the same day. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Amrida Kering Chebet.